in the previous lecture we have already seen the types of binary relation so we have seen what it means by a relation and also the properties of binary relation so what does what are the properties of binary relation that we have already studied we have studied reflexive and irreflexive and then we have studied symmetric antisymmetric and asymmetric now in this lecture we will study about the third property which is transitive relation so let's see what it means by a transitive relation so a relation r on set a is called transitive whenever a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r then a comma c should also belong to r it can be represented in by using this notation a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r implication c comma a should also belongs to r okay so this is what it means by transitive re relation let's see the definition along with a few examples a relation r on a set a is called transitive if whenever a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r then a comma c also belongs to r for all the elements a b c are be belonging to the set a now let's see the following relations and check whether they are transitive or not so for this we have to check for this relation r so we have let's consider this as a comma b do we have a b comma c yes we can consider 1 comma 2 as b comma c so if a comma b is in r b comma c is in r then a comma c should also be in r what is a comma c again a is 1 b is 2 or c is 2 so a comma c 1 comma 2 is also in r so for the first one it satisfies what about let's consider one to as r a comma b yeah, each time we have to check for each ordered pair so let's take this as a comma b if this is a comma b this can be our b comma c okay yes then ab bc we have to check for ac what will be ac a is 1 c is 2 so we have 1 2 okay so this also this ordered pair also satisfies it now what about this one let's take this as ab okay so what can be our b comma c it can be our b comma c and what is our a comma c a comma c will again be 2 comma 1 so fine after that if we take this as our ab then 2 comma 1 1 comma 1 this is our ac then what do we have to check this is our bc i'm sorry this will be our bc then what do we have to check for we have to check for ac which is again 2 comma 1 it is present also if we take this as our ab can we take this as our bc 1 comma 2 yes then our ac will be 2 comma 2 it is also there so similarly we have to check and you will see that all if ab is in r bc is in r then ac is also in r for the first four ordered pairs now what about this 3 comma 3 for 3 comma 3 if i take it as ab okay do we have any ordered pair starting with b which is 3 no we don't have any ordered pair starting with b so if we have ab over here but do we have bc no we don't have bc so we don't need to check for ac okay if we have a pair ab but we don't have bc then we don't need to check for ac this is a very very important point with respect to transitive relation so now finally what do you conclude with this example so the conclusion is that this transitive relation is is it a transitive relation yes it is a transitive relation okay now 
let's see the next example for this example we have 1,3 let's take it as AB now what about BC can we take this as BC yes we can take this as BC since the pair is starting with B now to, we have to check for AC 1,3 3,2 so 1 comma 2 should be there in the relation R for it to be transitive. Do we have 1 comma 2? No, we don't have 1 comma 2. So this relation is not transitive. Okay. So this is not transitive. We don't even need to check for any further pairs because for the first pair only it is not transitive. Now the next one is This question 2 comma 4, 4 comma 3, 2 comma 3 and 4 comma 1. So if I am taking this as AB and this is taken as BC, then we need to have AC. So 2, 3, it is there. Fine. Now again, let's take for the next one. 2, 4 is again AB. We have 4, 1 which can be taken as BC. What about AC? AC should be 2, 1. Is 2, 1 in this relation? No, it is not in the relation. So, no, it is not a transitive relation. It, this can also be expressed as the point I have explained. AB belongs to R and BC belongs to R. Then AC also belongs to R. Okay, so this is the transitive relation. So by now we have seen all the three relations, for, uh, all the three properties for relations which were reflexive. The important ones are reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Now based on these three properties, we have a topic which is known as equivalence relation. Now what do you mean by equivalence relation? Equivalence relation is when a relation R relation R on set A is called equivalence if it is reflexive, it should be reflexive, it should be symmetric and it should be transitive. If a relation is all the three, then it is known as an equivalence relation. So equivalence relations are used to relate objects that are similar in some way. Okay, what is the application of equivalence relations? They are used to relate objects that are similar in some way. And a relation on a set A is called an equivalence relation if it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Two elements that are related by an equivalence relation are, are called equivalent. Now, since R is symmetric, A is equivalent to B whenever B is equivalent to A. Okay, so whenever we are speaking about the relation R, A is equivalent to B whenever B is equivalent to A. Since R is also reflexive, every element is equivalent to itself. And since R is transitive, if A and B are equivalent and B and C are equivalent, then A and C are also equivalent. So basically, we are specifying the equivalence relation along among the elements of the ordered pair. These three properties are necessary for a reasonable definition of equivalence. Now example. Let's consider the relation R. R is equal to on the set, uh, consider the relation R which is equivalent to 0, 0, 1, 1. It contains the ordered pairs. And this relation R is on the set 0, 1, 2, 3. Now we will have to check for whether it is an equivalence relation or not. Let's check for equivalence relation or not. So for checking for equivalence relation, we have to check for three relations which are reflexive, symmetric and transitive. So for reflexive relation, what was the property for reflexive relation for every element A? 
a comma a should belong to r okay so there are four elements so there should be four ordered pairs with the same elements that is 0011223 so all the four are there so it is reflexive okay now the next is symmetric for every element a comma b belonging to a if a comma b belongs to r then b comma a should also belongs to r so if we have 0 0 1 then 1 comma 0 should also be there but since we have all the elements in this way 0 0 1 1 2 2 and 3 3 and the b comma a will be also in the same way so it is symmetric and we don't we have in the case of transitive which we have just studied if we have ab ab belongs to r and bc belongs to r then we have to check for ac in r but since we don't have bc in any of the case for any of the ordered pair we don't have to check for ac that means it is transitive also so this relation r is an equivalence relation it is an equivalence relation it is equivalence relation okay now let's take another example so r is given as 00020220223323 and 33 okay now we have to again check for equivalence relation before we check for equivalence relation we have to check basically for all the three which are reflexive symmetric and transitive now let's start from transitive so for transitive our condition is ab belongs to r and bc belongs to r then ac should belongs to r so let's take this as our ab 0 0 then 0 2 will be our bc and then ac will again be 0 2 which is in this set any other element which is starting with 0 0 no so let's move on with 0 2 0 so this is ab this can be our bc then ac will be 0 0 which is present okay so next 0 2 and we can take 2 2 so this is our ab then this can be our bc then what will be our ac ac will again be 0 2 it's okay and after that we have the next one okay we we can even check for this as our bc so let's take this as our bc 0 2 2 3 so we have to check for 0 3 ab bc then we have to check for ac so it is not transitive okay since we don't have 0 3 apart from that let's check for symmetric for symmetric if we have 0 0 we should have 0 0 again it is there 0 2 2 0 is there 2 0 0 2 is there 2 2 okay with that 2 3 3 2 and 3 3 so it is symmetric but what about reflexive for reflexive we need to have so it is this relation is on the set a which is 0 1 2 3 now we have 0 0 okay we have 2 2 and 3 3 but what about 1 comma 1 it is not in the relation so if it is not in the relation it is not reflexive so this relation is neither reflexive nor transitive it is only symmetric so in this case we can see that it is not an equivalence relation not an equivalence relation okay so this concludes the topic equivalence relation